Mountain, baby. Your <laughs> Texas <laughs> Titan Branch Warren. Well, it's a family show here, Amanda. And I'm going to turn it over to you guys for the Ol Mr. Olympia 2015 pre-judging. We are ready to go. And joining me in the broadcast booth is my buddy and uh, legend Dennis James. How you doing, Sean? How's it going? Hey, it's oh, been going great so far. So ready, branch one already out. We got some muscle up here. Coming back with the number one. I know Branch likes to be number one because he's the first guy that comes out, gets the first, the first look. And as yes, you can see, Branch is he's got a very confident uh, way of posing right now. Yes, they love. He's, he's, a, he's a hard worker, and he's not afraid to go all out. Next up, Isa Obia from the UAE. He's just been training in Kuwait for uh, quite some time now. He looks like he's put on some weight himself. He looks bigger, especially on top. He said at the press conference that he had taken a little time off because his wife got sick, but uh, Batter Budai, who you know well, DJ, actually worked with him and helped support him and get him back to the Olympia stage. Well, he won, he qualified for the Olympia by winning in China, I think he won. So we have Muhammad Ali Benut up next. Well, from Lebanon, Mo Benou. He usually is the most shredded guy in any show. I was thinking ever. that, but not tonight, no? Not tonight. That's what I was just thinking, because his legs don't look as, as separated and as dry as he usually looks. Because, I mean, usually he is, I mean, really, really peeled. He's trying to follow in the footsteps of a fellow Lebanese yeah. bodybuilder, Samir Benut, who was the 1983 Mr. Olympia winner. Coming up, Max Charles. A big rookie. Uh, yes, I can't wait to see him because he was very confident yesterday. Max trains at uh, Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym out on Long Island. Yeah, his, his problem always was that he has a crazy upper body and his legs are just not, just not up to par with his upper body and it seems like they're still a little bit downsized you know if he could bring if he could bring his legs up to match his upper body he's been very very dangerous that is an impressive upper body a lot of thickness there Willie Winkler it's another guy that's been training in Kuwait and he looked like he's fired up so what do you think we've seen a lot of versions well I got to tell you this the color looks spot on Huge arms. His biceps yeah. is just ridiculous. Extra, uh, under control compared to uh, his showing. The rookie coming up, Brad Rowe. It's this always hard for rookies to come up for their first time at the Olympic stage and make an impact. It happened before, but look at it. He looks yeah, good. I condition. Mean, you can see he brought the condition. And this is, I mean, as a rookie, as a, you know, you should always make sure you bring the condition. You know, nobody's did. mad at you if you don't bring the size of some of the veterans. But if you bring the condition, you'll always stand out. Brad, Brad was an athlete growing up. He was a triple threat. He played football, ran track, and he wrestled. He's out of New Hampshire. Blue striated. Yes, he brought the condition. That's for sure. That's a good. William Bonat. It's another guy. It's a, it's a shorter guy, but he's got so much mass in his frame. It's unbelievable. He defines thickness. Look at that. He's 3D. Arms, the chest. Yes. It's thick. That's how you start. That's how you start off. Right with the most muscular. William was born in Ghana. He lives in a uh, Hoofdor, Netherlands. He's got great shape. He's got full muscle bellies. He's got the condition. Yeah, he's conditioned. I mean, I'm looking at him right now. And uh, double Z's, Joe Lully. He won the Amateur Olympia in, um, I don't even know that's, where it was. Right. And, uh, won the overall and qualified for the Mr. Olympia here today. So he, he is indeed you know, a rookie. I mean, this is a dream come true for him, uh, obviously, and, and, and that is why he's on this stage today because a lot of people, a lot of athletes that qualify in an amateur contest to, you know, they, 
wouldn't necessarily go to the biggest show in the world because they don't feel they're ready. But you know what? I see it as a, as a chance, an opportunity to be on that stage, and I would take it any day. Because you don't know. Yep. Dexter Jackson. Dexter Jackson. Now, this is the one. This is the man I want to see because at 46 years old, I think that he will show us um, what condition is, and we will all measure these guys by, by Dexter Jackson right That's now. That's 46? 46 years. Wow. Wow. Dexter brought it. You know, for all you 40-somethings watching this at home, yeah. this is what's possible in your <laughs> yeah. mid-40s. Don't well, watch TV. Get it into the gym and do it. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, I, I doubt that everybody that's 46 can be, is going to be able to look like like that, like that, because uh, I couldn't do it. It's been here for the Jonathan Delarosa. Qualified by win in Chicago. Right. New York guy. From the Dominican Republic. Such a nice guy, too. I mean, he's a humble guy. And he has beautiful shape. You know, he's got the small waist. He's got wide shoulders, big arms. Yeah, huge arms. Great V taper. But when it comes to this, uh, is a tough act to follow. It's always the same. I mean, unless you really, really super peeled, you don't want to come after yeah. Dexter Jackson. That's Ronnie Rocco, Germany. Had a baby, and you know what? He looks good. He does look good. He's in proper condition. Something he struggled with, especially from the back. Now, I want to see when he turns around if he uh, was able to fix that. It's incredible that he's diabetic. Three years. And Fred, did Biggie, train a lot. small. Now, now a crowd favorite. We're not going to get to see what he's capable of tonight. That'll be tomorrow, but Fred Smalls can move like no one else on yeah, the stage. Yeah, I would be surprised if he throws a couple of pop locks in the, in, in, in the mandatories right now. Fred has that really great V-taper. The guy on that stage would be shredded. Can we see a 300-pounder shredded on the Olympia stage? It would be awesome if we could see that. What do you think, DJ? Let me get another look here. It's tough. He's yeah. definitely big. Robert Petrokovic. Petrokovic from Poland. Yeah. I remember Robert as an amateur in Germany. He was doing every show in Europe just to pick up some money. And he was back then winning every show, all amateur shows. And he was, as a pro, a couple of years ago, he was kind of fading out, you know, couldn't get the condition right. And in the last two, three years, he's just constantly getting his condition right and just came back as like a new robber. His legs are a little bit starting to lose his sweep. And I think that comes with age. Because, I, you know, I can tell by people getting over. Once you hit the 40, the Victor you know, Martina. Good point, DJ. Here you go with Victor, ah. another old man. Dominican dominator, Victor Martinez. I love New York. He's my, he's my boy, you know. But as you can see, look at Victor's quads. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. Yep. That leg sweep, Victor's leg sweep used to be unbelievable. Yes, it did. So was mine in my earlier days. But when you see it happening, you can't stop it. But he's still, he's still, you know, it's Victor, but he looks kind of, what happens here is it looks like he's flat. To me, it looks like he is really, really flat. Again, it's a glycogen problem? Yes. I think he's a couple of slices of pizza short. <laughs> I'm sure he'd love to hear that. Yeah. Grab some pizza on the way out. Victor Cause is... He, yeah, because usually when Victor poses, everything pops. Yeah. But the youngest pro we have... I think he's 24, 24 yeah, yeah. This is his, pro, uh, his uh, Olympia debut. He himself said, I got nothing to lose. And you know what? Look at his shape. That's a nice physique right He's 24 there. years old. I can tell you by looking at him right now, 
that this guy in the future will be a force who will be fighting for this He'll time. be a contender. I, yes. I couldn't agree more. Because he's got the height. He's got the, the shape. He's got... Look at the calves. Yes. Jeez. He's got the... I was about to say, he's got the calves. <laughs> All he can do is now fill out and get... <laughs> the prodigy, Brandon right, Cedric Curry. Curry. Is out. From what I heard, he is not in the show. Ah. Yeah, there's some health issues. We don't, we don't know exactly News what happened. News to me. Okay. So Cedric is not competing. You heard it here first, We have folks. Brandon Curry. Brandon Curry is another guy for me with a beautiful shape, beautiful Amazing. lines, small waist, wide back. He just never nails the condition right. He nailed it one time, and I think that's, that was in Brazil. He won in Rio, ago. that's yes. right. Yep. But as you can see here, this is a bit... Yeah, Steve uh, Cooper! Let's see uh, how he comes out, because so he took nice. some time off. He got married. Yep. Steve was always a guy with beautiful lines, too. He always had, you know, problems with staying full and condition, but it looks like he is, uh, color is good, that's for sure. Definitely. He's big. He's a tall guy. He's big. Lots and of he's muscle got there. huge calves, too. You can see Both that from the front. Wow. And according to Amanda Latona Kuklo, he's the best-looking guy on stage at that count. And I said it back then. Dennis, Dennis, big, man. man. Whoa. Here's a guy you know. Dennis Wolf. There you go. The big bad wolf, always a favorite here. Dennis, if he stays full, he will be a serious, serious force. And you can see right he here. He looks conditioned. You see the condition he right there? It. That's what I'm saying. Wow. Condition he right there. It. That's what I'm saying. Wow. He's going to open up. There you go. Small waist. Yeah. Deep, uh, uh, separated quads. He really He's brought it. He's going to open up for front double biceps. And there you see the size of this guy. Again, a tall guy, he's pushing six foot. Yeah, and Dennis Why? is another one that had issues with condition for a while, and now finally the last couple of years, also Johnny. 40, oh, three, Jackson. Four, yeah. yeah, and you, 44. Will never, you will never know when you see him, his body looks fresh, his face looks yeah, young. His skin is tight. Yes, absolutely. Amazing. And again, look at his traps, just sit there. Definition <laughs> of thickness, wow. Yes. And the condition is on. Look at his abs, it's tight. He brought it. He's probably got the best set of abs that, that we've seen tonight. Yeah, great conditioning. And you know what? If you look at Johnny, he looks like he's somewhere in the 240s, 250s. He probably weights. I would, if I had to guess his weight, I would probably, nah, I would probably guess 225. One. Now, one more else. He's been on the stage last year. Mm -hmm. He was in the yep. top 10, his first Olympia. He's been improving ever since. He beat Victor Martinez in New York yep. for the New York Pro. Yep, another New Yorker. Trains at Bev's gym as well. Known and for he his is aesthetics. He's a hard worker, too. He will not take a day off from the gym. It, 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 and even if it's Christmas, he trains twice a day. He told yes. me that the other day. He takes his he takes his job very very serious. And you know what? When you put your when you put your time in, it, it, it's going to pay off. There's no other way. Sean, here we go. Roden. Oh, see Sean Roden. Last year's third place. A man that thinks he can beat Phil Heath today he does. in every single pose. That's what he said at the press conference that you yes. hosted, DJ. Let's see. He said he's about eight pounds bigger. Now let's hope he has the condition he brought last year. Looks good looks so good. far. He looks good. He's not even doing nothing. There you go. Yeah. Great detail. Great super tiny waist. Look at that waist. Yeah. Oh yeah, he looks Wow. Good. He looks really good. It was my favorite last year. <laughs> Four-time defending champ Phil right. Heath going for a fifth title, something that hasn't been done since Ronnie Coleman won his fifth in 2002. He said, oh, he's trying to point out, <laughs> said, where's the gut this year? Yeah. Uh, that, and here we see, uh, we see how big Issa is next to Branch. Issa looks really big. So is Ruli. 
And of course, Max. Okay, from here you can see the condition of branches uh, stands out next to some of these guys. There he is, one of the crowd favorites, Branch Warren. Branch's quads. <laughs> <It's> crazy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Second only to Rami's, I'd say. <laughs> it sells five to ten seconds on the shots. Every muscle. And try not to run out of breath. Out of this, out of these six, I will get it as they go on, and some guys just they just, just run out of gas. Um, lineup size-wise, yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? The day you can see, you know, this, this, this Dexter said he's, he said 245. Yeah. I don't see 245 right now standing next to these guys because, you know what I mean? It, it might be, maybe he was 245 two days ago, but I would taper helps. What can you say about it? When they do their mandatory, you can't really say anything because you got to see them next to other Next to each other. Next to each other. Next to each other. Crazy right now. Open up! Next to Robert Petrokovich. Yeah. Dallas is looking surprisingly big. You know, he's got that height, he's got that width. You know, for his first Olympia, that's a great show. Yeah. Rami just outside. Rami's abs was tighter last year, especially in that shot. You know, I remember we, we we practiced that pose for so long to hold his abs tight while he's doing the front double. So I told him, I said, "You're big enough. You don't have to." Yeah, and, and and that seems to be an issue because, you know. People don't understand size is not everything. It's a lot, but it's not everything. You've got to bring the condition. And if he would have probably dropped another 10, 12, 15 pounds, he would have probably looked a report on his own. Yeah, that, that kid has a promising future for sure. Yes, absolutely. Give him two, three more years. Go, oh, good. Traps oh, we got Sean and Phil standing right next oh, to each look other. Look at that. He can go shot by shot this time. This is probably something. Phil, Dexter, and Branch. And Branch. Or Ron. Or Ron. Usually right. Look at Sean doing the front. The camera's throwing us off a little bit. I'd like to see this a little better. Sean, for Sean. Sean, that's the Sean shot right there. I'd like to see Sean a little more enthusiastic. I'd be like, act like you really want it. He's so calm in his face, yes. there's no emotion. I'd like to see him fight. We know he wants it, that's the stop. Yes. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Phil is fired. But this is a bit of a bellwether for what's to come. See? There you go, Dexter gets moved yep. in. Yeah, so Dexter fourth. So far. I don't like Rami's abs this time because he. Let's go, Dexter! Yeah, Phil taking stuff. Phil, yeah. Phil, yeah. Phil, think about it. True. No, but this is no cakewalk. By the oh, fact not at all. Place. And it's not over yet. Uh, That's the front. Look at these back shots. Last look at I, 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 uh, I don't know. That's my case. For me. Let's see what happens. <laughs> well, well, let's put it this way. Phil has stayed in the middle. In the middle. They're moving Dennis. Well, in the middle Sean right now is Sean and Phil. And now it's Sean. It was, it was Dennis. Sean and Phil in the middle, it means this could be one or two. Could be. Well, I, I'm, I doubt that they have decided yet, because there's going to be a last call out where they're going to have to do it. He's going to have to go at it. Oh, that's right. That's right. Now, they could. But, yeah, well, Rami is, um, he's, not he's quite big, he but he's about year. 15 pounds too heavy. Moving up, you know, he's definitely top five or six. So he's moved up every year. I mean, you know, it shows in his physique too. He's got such a rugged physique, grainy, hard, muscular. 
really knows. And he gives you everybody a chance to compete. Absolutely. He's again, he's, yeah, I mean, if you look at him, you see the size and the shape that he has yeah. from this size. He, he could, have a small weight. He could be a, at least a spot or two higher than yeah, last year. of course, of course. That, that was his goal. I talked to him about it, Max and Victor. I'd like to see Victor eat up some food tonight. Yeah, it's so you know? essential. They are they are hardening up. I can see that. Yeah, some of the guys know this. Keep yeah, keep posing. You yep. see this 800 plus pound deadlift, the yeah. world's strongest yeah. bodybuilder. It shows every one of those pounds. Such great potential and such good you know physiques, not nailed in condition. And their kids compare good comparison right there. call out yeah you know knowing you work they work just you know, as hard so as the guys hard, at the top yeah all this time and, and and brad is in great condition so is um robert and also mo but condition yeah, not yet holding water yeah, yeah. He's, I, I guarantee you if he drops a little bit more water tomorrow he could be shredded shredded <laughs> Tori Pose is the most muscular. You know, Mo looks like he's getting a little drier. These are the four best physiques on the planet Earth. Yep. Dexter Jackson, Dennis are in the backs right now. If you look at him steady next to each other right now, you can see he's put on some size. He has. And he is. He's definitely dry. Look at the hands. Go broken. This is Steve likes to do that. He does. That's what he does. As much for the fans, I'd imagine, as for the judges. Yeah. The audience is loving this. Because Dexter looks, Dexter looks good next to Phil, too. He does. Yeah. Yeah. Usually is, and it's probably come with, you know, with the never had a problem with. And when you have such a, yeah. Yeah, because from the back, look at how tiny it right. is. Because Dex is getting better. He is. When everybody else, especially Sean, yeah, he seems just to face just a little bit. Dennis look. is looking at the back. Yeah. Right. Back and forth. <laughs> now, when you see this, Dennis, now he wants to hold his abs together. When you have such a small waist, you do not want to let it go. Dennis is a great pose for him. Top 10. Ah, we're moving on to the top 10 pose now. It's good to see that uh, William Bonac moved into the top 10. Yes, absolutely. And you called He's that, happy DJ. Man right now. He's a very happy man. All right, folks, for the final time tonight, let's sit down to the head judging table. Big Steve. Thank you, Bob. Gentlemen, quarter turn to the right. Judges putting him through their quarter turns right now. It's quarter turn to the right. Big Rami quarter turn to the right. the stage. Face front. Didn't say fifth, but it could be sixth spot. First of the mandatories, front double biceps. Front lat spring. Side pose. chest. This used to be the top six pose down, so they don't do the top six pose down anymore. It's the top ten. Top down. ten. Yeah, they switched it up. Bonac on the end looking thick mm -hmm. as a brick. Back double bicep. This is where Phil should shine, Phil and Dexter.
that last spread. You see Rami's with here. Side tricep. Dennis has the width. Side poses. I doubt that this is team being judged right now, so this is strictly just for the audience. And they are eating see these guys next to each other one more time, so. Abdominals and thighs. The place is, uh, the, 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 the place is so set right now. They Judges exactly, already know. They know exactly where it is. Who is where. Fortunately, the fans do not, and they are eating this up. Come on, Dexter. This is for the fans. I mean, they want to make these guys go into the audience. Your favorite most muscular. So everybody can get their selfies with their own, with their, with their athletes and their, their idols. And Bob, we can have some You have to take music. a photo with the camera. Now we you sure take a selfie with the top bodybuilders in the world. <laughs> That's up. the biggest contest in the world. How long is it going to be till they make it down to the audience? Well, if they have no stairs going from this step, from, from, take from a the long stage, time. then they won't go anywhere. They'll find a way, though. Next is doing the right thing and following Phil. Dennis and uh, Sean have been switching places the last couple of years next to each other. Sean's moving over to stand next to Phil. He's like, hey, where are you going? Anybody want to see the Olympians down here? Uh, they're going to walk down, yeah. To give these fans a first-hand, up-close experience with an Olympia. And this will take a while, so I don't expect them to be back on stage in with <laughs> at least five to ten minutes. Go grab a bite to eat, maybe, DJ? <laughs> <laughs> I'm starving. I'm ready to eat. Yeah, me too. We got the Olympia banquet coming up for us after this, but not before we announce the winner of the 2015 Joe Weider's Olympia. And the $400,000 check. And the 400000 David Pecker announced $400,000. Pretty amazing. Winner. For the winner. That's a nice house and a car. That's a nice. Joe Palumbo, one of the expediters, making sure these guys are safe from the uh, screaming fans, the adoring fans. This. All right, here we truth. go. Top 10. 2015 Mr. Olympia presenting right the 10th place award representatives from Amazon Sports Nutrition they will take the 10th place award the check for $16,000 to our obeyed job for Essa coming back. Essa got 10th, so it did that tell, that tells me that I was right when they called William with Essa and Victor. That and William said, moved up. And I said, look, because William wasn't even in there. He was not. So now he done moved up and beat Essa, and I think he might have got Victor too. Is he right? They will take the ninth place award, the check for $19,000, and present it to Victor Martinez. You called it again, DJ. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want some right. of what you're having. <laughs> <laughs> Victor Martinez is indeed in ninth place. You know, not looking his best, but uh, you know what? A not best Victor Martinez is still the ninth best bodybuilder on the planet Absolutely, Earth. and that's good for Victor. Pretty because, damn good. Because last year he didn't even make top ten. He did not. William Bonac it again and there is William Bonac taking eighth place a very very respectable placing for him he's a happy man right now yes there's nothing you can say to him to make him mad today no not <laughs> at all I think I think this is uh there's always a little bit Rooley Winkler Rooley Winkler seventh place yesterday if you go by the call out he was fifth or sixth yes see and the same with Rami. He was fifth or sixth, so, but he could be. Rich Warren. Rich Warren, you called it. Branches placed as high as second here. And he, has, he repeated sixth place from last year. He did. Fifth Rami, no. fifth place. Rami. Big Rami. Yep. 
kind of made sense. Good showing for Rami. You know, he last night he looked a little bit soft. He definitely moved up. Well, everybody moved up since Kai's not here, so. But I, I, over the course of the last 24 hours yes. as well. Well, no, nah, I mean, he was Tightened fifth up. or sixth in Rolly last, last night, so he basically stayed where he was. And he looked better than last night, I would say, tonight, Rami. A little bit, definitely. How about a big hand for Dennis Big Ben Wolf? And the crowd erupts in booze. Uh, Dennis is a popular champion. And, you know, it's more a sign of respect than anything that the, the fans are booing this. They love him. They'd love to see him win. He's close. Not quite there tonight. Well deserved. I think he was maybe a little fuller last night. Flexitron, Sean Rodan. There you go. Dexter, second place. I told Dexter last night it's kind of his, <laughs> I got the second third he had a lot of supporters here tonight who are a little bit disappointed he must this is what happens sure. if you leave the doors open this is exactly what i said you leave the door open dexter will take that door walk through it and slam slam it right behind him and that's exactly what he did an outstanding physique nonetheless you don't get to see this too often, do you, DJ? Two Mr. Olympias going for the title. And one of them's 46 years old. Exactly. Got the new guard and the old guard. Fans here at the Olympia, who's it gonna be? For instance, I mean... Pro League President Jim Mannion, IFBB President Rafael Santoa, so no and CEO of AMI, Mr. David Pecker. But I'm just so happy for Dexter for a place a second coming Ladies back. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll notice that standout the yet. trophy well, he's not is a little bit it's bigger this year. Classy. It's been redesigned and upgraded, the first of its kind. And it will be presented to your new Mr. Olympia. To your five-time champion, the gift! Hey! I think I called just about everything. Pretty much, DJ, <laughs> pretty much. We now Congratulations, five-time champion, Phil, Phil Heath. Five-time champ. Ladies and gentlemen, your runner-up. A former Olympian champion, Dexter the Jackson, blade, pushing Dexter him right down to the Jackson. wire. Yep. Two Mr. Olympias going head to head. What a great showdown. And there he is, shaking the hand of AMI CEO David Pecker, Phil Heath, five time champion. No one's won five of these titles since Ronnie Coleman in 2002. Phil's a few years younger than Ronnie was then, so Phil is a. Uh, Dexter Jackson He's taking making, runner up here at the Olympia. Check for $150,000. He's got a real the shot. Olympia silver medal. The best ever. Right now, he's the best. Congratulations, Dexter! On the planet. He just did, he didn't even know he got four hundred thousand. He just now sees his checks. You have Rafael Santoja, Jim Mannion, David Pecker joining Phil Heath, your five-time Mr. Olympia champ. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your five-time Olympia champion, the gift, Phil Heath. And there he is, your five-time champ, Phil Heath, looking every bit a winner. And as all that pressure is coming right now. It's just History made it's just once it's again, folks, here, here come the emotions. Olympia stage yes. in Las Vegas, Nevada. And of course, on behalf I mean, of Jim he's Mannion worked his butt off all year league, long, sacrificing, training, dieting, here at the Olympia, like living a Spartan lifestyle all for this. Folks, the gala going on immediately following the show it. here he over at the Orleans. Moment. And tomorrow, the crown jewel of the weekend the weeder superstar seminar going on 11 o'clock that's right upstairs you know what and, and and as long as he can come looking like he did tonight he can win this show it's definitely a winning formula so far and really an amazing physique one of the all-time greats that's undeniable and there are the there 
Great shot right there. 2015 Olympia champs.